The Russian Spaniel is a type of Spaniel first standardized in 1951 in the Soviet Union after World War II by cross-breeding English Cocker Spaniels, English Springer Spaniels and other Spaniel breeds. Physically it is similar to a Cocker Spaniel, but has a shorter, tighter coat and a longer body. Developed and used as hunting dogs, this breed does not suffer from any major health complaints other than those normally associated with Spaniels. Popular in its native Russia, the breed was only introduced overseas in the 1990s and is not yet recognized by any major kennel clubs. The Russian hunting spaniel is a gambling scout with a docile character and an irrepressible craving for games. Possessing an outstanding instinct and strategic reserve of patience, this long-eared Sturlitz pursues prey to the last, so that hunting with him is always successful and rich in trophies. In ordinary life, Russian spaniels play the role of unpretentious modest ones, but standard dog entertainment is also not alien to them. Another unquenchable passion of the breed is food, so if you want to bribe your pet, show him a bowl of food. For such a bribe the Russian hunting spaniel will do a lot. Highlights The breed is registered, but not recognized by the International Sinological Federation. In 2002, for the convenience of foreign breeders, the Russian Spaniel Club, USA, was created to register litters abroad. Regardless of their hunting qualifications and lively temperament, Russian Spaniels easily adapt to city life and gladly go out into the countryside in the owner's backpack. Breeding of the breed is carried out under the strict control of Russian breeding clubs, so most of the hereditary diseases bypassed its representatives. Weather conditions do not affect the hunting talents of the Russian Spaniel. This dog can work perfectly in complete calm and even in the heat. The Russian hunting Spaniel is a born tracker and hunter. At the same time, with cats and other domestic animals, with which the dog grew up, he signed a non-aggression pact. All representatives of the breed love to swim and are not afraid of cold water. A dog's stomach is a black hole in which gigantic volumes of food disappear without a trace. Russian hunting spaniels are often recruited to search for psychotropic substances and find people caught in emergencies. According to domestic dog handlers, this is one of the best breeds in terms of flair and persistence of search. It is not forbidden to take a Russian hunting spaniel as a pet and companion, but it is very undesirable, since it is unlikely that it will be possible to provide the animal with a level of stress and emotions that work with game gives it. History of the Russian hunting spaniel breed The appearance of spaniels in Russia is associated with the name of Nikolai Nikolaevich Romanov, the uncle of the last Russian Tsar. Being an enthusiastic breeder and leader of several hunting communities at once, he often brought various breeds of dogs from overseas trips. In particular, the Cocker Spaniel, named Dash, exhibited at the exhibition in 1885, also belonged to the Grand Duke, who acquired the dog from an elite English nursery. Subsequently, it was this dog that became the father of several generations of puppies, which were sold by Russian nobles. With the light filing of Romanov, the interest of domestic dog breeders in Spaniels quickly acquired a practical focus. Albeit with some delay, breeders nevertheless discovered excellent hunters and dogs, capable of working with any species of bird. In addition, imported cockers and springers proved to be excellent in pheasant hunting, which was especially respected by members of the imperial family, so that breeding soon became a profitable and prestigious business. At first, breeding individuals were imported from England, after which they were haphazardly knitted with spaniels from the royal and princely nurseries. The offspring obtained as a result of such experiments, although they had a spaniel appearance, did not resemble their foreign parents much. Actually, these were the first Russian hunting spaniels, non-standardized, without pedigrees, but with the same performance characteristics as modern representatives of the breed. By the beginning of the 20th century, spaniels born on the territory of Russia were exhibited at breeding exhibitions separately from their English relatives. In the same period, the stratification of the unofficial breed into the Moscow and St. Petersburg types became especially noticeable. Representatives of each of the castes differed both in appearance and in the style of work, which became the reason for further experiments on crossing both varieties. In the 30s, the Leningrad section of Spaniels undertook to improve the breed, using domestic dogs and imported males for mating, the half-springer Albu von Blumenthal and the cocker spaniel Caesar von der Schmitsch. Unfortunately, the developments of those years were destroyed by the Great Patriotic War and the blockade, therefore, after the victory, the number of animals was restored almost from zero. The problem was seriously complicated by the heterogeneity of the domestic livestock, among which there were many mestizos. In 1951, Soviet specialists finally fixed a breed's phenotype and published the first standard of appearance for its representatives. Since 1972, an official ban was introduced on mating between the Russian hunting spaniel and other species of spaniels, which was the last step towards the independence of animals. Already in the 60s, the possession of the breed became fashionable among domestic hunters. 
compact and extremely prey, such dogs did not create problems with transportation and easily took root in city apartments. And although in the 90s the population of Russian hunting spaniels decreased to a critical minimum, they were not allowed to disappear completely, having taken a number of measures to revive and increase the number of purebred individuals. Russian Hunting Spaniel. Breed Description. The Russian Hunting Spaniel was never recognized by the International Sinological Federation, but is the only domestic breed of gun hunting dogs. The Russian Spaniel can be called a high-legged tracker with a fairly strong and muscular physique. Compared to the English Cocker, it is taller, but lower and smaller than the Springer. When breeding, attention was paid to hunting flair and dexterity, endurance was also not forgotten, and the external data of the dog faded into the back hilogram's round. Despite this, in the Russian, Spaniel you can see your charm and charm, even restrained grace. If we talk about the standard of this breed, then it contains the following parameters, the growth of male tetrapods varies from 38 to 44 centimeters, the growth of females can range from 36 to 42 centimeters, the weight of Russian Spaniels of both sexes ranges from 13 to 16 kilograms, the dog's head is of optimal length, looks slightly lean and dry, with a fairly wide skull with a protruding muzzle. The brows are practically not prominent, and the tubercle on the back of the head has a smooth shape. If you look at the spaniel in profile, you will notice that its shape is slightly dull. The dog has thin and taut lips. The spaniel's reference bite should be scissor bite, and the teeth should be white. The curious dog's nose is very massive, has pronounced open nostrils. The color of the nose should match the tone of the dog itself, it can be from chocolate to black shades. The eyes of the spaniel are oval and rather large straight set, they are brown, dark brown or light brown in color. Spaniel's ears are its hallmark, sometimes these dogs are called lop-eared. Indeed, their ears are impressive in size, in the form of lobes hanging down the sides of the head. The ear takes its origin at the same level as the eyes, sometimes a little higher, and its length can reach the very tip of the nose. According to the standard, the dog's neck should be dry, have a medium length and harmoniously developed muscles. The entire physique of a spaniel is quite powerful, slightly stretched. The dog has a wide back and a short loin that turns into a rather sloping croup. The chest area of the spaniel is well developed, has good depth and optimum width. In appearance, the canine limbs look thin and bony, parallel to each other. The hind legs are set wider, all articulation angles are clearly visible. Feet have a rounded shape and tightly closed toes. In movement, the spaniel is characterized by an easy gallop, turning into a trot. The spaniel's tail has a straight, elongated shape, more massive at the base. For hounds, the tail is usually docked for their own safety in order to avoid all kinds of injuries. Russian spaniels have a long, soft, slightly wavy or straight coat that fits snugly around the body. In the area of the head and paws, the wool is shorter and has a straight structure, and on the ridge, the cervical region, from the sides in the croup zone, it is more elongated and thick. On the lower chest part, belly, on the back of the paws, in the ears and tail, you can see a long and wavy hairline forming a feathering. There is also a thick undercoat between the toes. Popular colors of Russian hunting spaniels. Distinguish between one color, solid, color of Russian spaniels. It can be quite uniform, but most often it has white marks on the forehead, throat, muzzle, chest, belly, paws, and the very tip of the tail. Among the monochromatic, the following types of colors are distinguished, black with straight and smooth hair, auburn, ranging from light to dark red, the nose should be black or brown, and the dog's eyes should be dark brown, brown, chocolate, with a long, thick, and soft coat. The nose and eyes should also be brown, and the formation of a dense wool cap can be seen in the head area. The disadvantages of monochromatic coloring are beige, flesh, nose and a very light, yellowish, eye tone. Two-tone, peebled, color of dogs is found in various variations, among which are black and peebled with contrasting colors, red peebled contrasting, brown peebled with contrasting color, black and peebled in a speck, the older the puppies, the darker they are, they can turn completely black, brown peebled with speck, red peebled with speck, tanned with red markings in certain areas of the body, above the eyes, inside the ears, in the chest and cheeks, on the legs, under the tail, brown and tan, black and tan, The peebled color is most often found in Russian spaniels. It can be contrasting, the general back hilogram's round is white with spots of the main tone. These puppies have a pink nose and pink paws, which may have rare specks. And also speckled, the speck is dense, almost uniform black, it can be clearly distinguishable. Puppies of this color have dark nose and paw pads. Russian spaniels also have a tricolor color. Black and peebled contrasting with tan, black and peebled with speck and tan, brown peebled contrasting with tan, peebled brown with speck and tan. The nature and habits of Russian hunting spaniels. The disposition and habits of the Russian spaniel are slightly different when it is at home and on the hunt. 
the stubbornness, perseverance and tirelessness of the hunter, are replaced by the good nature and gentleness of a pet. The Russian hunting spaniel is happy to spend time with its beloved owner, just lying around, watching TV. Adults and experienced spaniels do not lose their puppy spontaneity, enthusiasm, and playfulness, they are always not averse to having fun in the children's company, so children easily contact them and become real friends. Spaniels will never conflict with babies, they will forgive them with generosity for twitching their tail and other pranks. Interesting fact, spaniels love to play with small balls, look for various items, because the talent of detectives and trackers is in their blood. You need to spend at least 20 minutes a day playing with your pet, then he will be happy, busy and will not look for forbidden entertainment in the form of tormenting sneakers and other shoes, especially leather ones. The intuition of these four-legged animals is developed simply superbly, they instantly catch the slightest change in the state of health and mood of their owner. Dogs have the ability to classify all people into positive and suspicious individuals. If the spaniel does not like any of your acquaintances, the dog constantly growls at him and looks askance, then this, obviously, is not without reason, you should keep your ears open with such a person. During the hunt, the spaniel is revealed from a completely different side. The weapon type of hunting, to which the breed belongs, is the following process. The spaniel leads the hunter, moving in front, looking for and frightening the feathered prey, so that the hunter makes a successful shot. Having sensed and found game, the spaniel does not stand up, as the cop does, so the hunter retains the intrigue of finding prey. Finding game birds is a real calling for spaniels and they do it well. Spaniels find already knocked out prey too quickly, not being afraid to dive right into the swamp after it, because he knows how to swim excellently. Spaniels are not afraid of nettles, any dense growth, where they desperately rush to bring the coveted trophy to the owner. Interesting facts about Russian hunting spaniels. Russian spaniels have many talents and hunting skills, which can be traced by opening a treasury of interesting and informative facts about these amazing and quick-witted four-legged animals, we will list some of them. This breed of dogs is the youngest bred in our country. This is the only Russian weapon hunting breed. The Russian spaniel combines many of the qualities, features and characteristics of the cocker and springer. Where the spaniel has settled, all strong and strong odors should be excluded so as not to spoil the hunting dog's scent. The coat of Russian spaniels has almost no smell, which will undoubtedly be appreciated by many dog breeders. This breed was recognized only by the Union of Public Sinological Organizations of the Russian Federation. At the international level, Russian spaniels were never recognized. It was spaniels that Nicholas I adored, he had a dog named Husser. The Husser was always a faithful companion of the king, they even had breakfast together. Scientists believe that dogs, similar to spaniels, were used in hunting as early as the 10th century. When a whole group of hunters is hunting at once, one spaniel is able to obey all their commands and tries to execute them accurately and competently. In 1858, the media first mentioned the Russian hunting spaniel breed. Spaniels have innate resilience and fearlessness, even small puppies will not run away when they see a large unfamiliar dog, they are not afraid of a loud shrill sound. Pros and cons of Russian hunting spaniels. Each beloved pet for its owner is not only a real friend, but also a faithful companion, an invaluable companion who has a number of positive qualities that overshadow all minor flaws and flaws. If you look objectively and unbiasedly, then any breed has certain pluses and minuses, this also applies to Russian Spaniels, which are no exception in this regard. Russian hunting Spaniels are simply created for energetic and active people who try to spend all their free time in the bosom of nature. Hunting lovers this dog will bring, not only great joy and pleasure from communication, but also considerable benefit. For couch potatoes and passive viewers of the TV screen, such a breed will be a burden, because their interests will fundamentally diverge. Let's try to give a list of the advantages and disadvantages of this Russian breed. The pluses of the Russian Spaniel include. Friendliness, playfulness and perky disposition. Ability to establish contacts with children. The presence of boundless courage and dedication. Rare aggression, manifested in extreme cases. Spaniel is a dog suitable for housing conditions. Possession of excellent instinct and outstanding hunting talent. The animal's hair is almost odorless. The disadvantages of Russian Spaniels are, their exactingness to daily and fairly long walks. Manifestation of hyperactivity. Long hair and drooping ears that need regular grooming. Excessive gluttony. Spaniels are not familiar with the feeling of satiety. You must make sure that the dog is not overfed. This can lead to obesity. Spaniels can often develop food allergies. Care for Russian hunting spaniels. Careful care is required for the coat of Russian spaniels, which is prone to molting twice a year. It is necessary to constantly comb the dog's coat, it is better to do this a couple of times per week with a special metal brush, this excludes the formation of tangles and an unkempt disheveled look. Brushing should be done according to hair growth. Bathing spaniels is best done once or twice a month. 
This is done using a special conditioner shampoo, which is sold in pet stores. For the treatment of the coat after water procedures, a special balm or cosmetic oil is used to make the coat silky and elastic. Spaniels are shown a haircut, the first time they do it, starting at the age of 3 months. There are two types of haircuts. Full, which is done every couple or three months by a groomer. And also hygienic, carried out every two weeks, the elimination of regrown hair in the paws, near the anal and auditory openings takes place here. It is worth noting that it is forbidden to cut wool on the ridge, it is only combed out there. The spaniel's large, droopy ears need to be checked and ventilated regularly. Airing is carried out by waving the ears, like wings, for several minutes. Ears are cleaned once a month with a cotton swab moistened with water or a weak solution of hydrogen peroxide. If the spaniel is healthy, then there are no unpleasant odors from the ears and a large accumulation of sulfur. Healthy dog eyes should be clean, not to tear, it is recommended to wipe them once a week with tea leaves or chamomile broth. Claws are trimmed monthly using a nail clipper. Once a month, you need to treat spaniels with special preparations that counteract ticks and fleas, which are applied to the withers. Of course, one of the main procedures for Russian spaniels is walking, these dogs cannot live without long and active walks, for which it is preferable to be nominated two or even three times a day. The duration of the walks should be at least an hour and, at best, take a couple of hours, then the dog will be happy and incredibly grateful. Many people know that Russian spaniels are excessively voracious, but this must be carefully monitored to prevent obesity. If you feed your dog with dry food, then the amount per serving should be 40 grams per 1 kilogram of body weight. If the spaniel eats homemade liquid food, then the serving should be between 30 and 60 grams per 1 kilograms of dog weight. It is possible to slightly increase the volume and calorie content of food for those four-legged ones who have suffered a serious illness and have entered the path of recovery or for nursing mothers. Fasting days are recommended a couple of times per month for spaniels, food during these periods is minimized. Diseases and health problems. Serious diseases of the genetic level are not observed in Russian spaniels, but they are susceptible to various kinds of infections, like all other tetrapods. Those dogs that often dive underwater while hunting can become infected with leptospirosis, which affects the liver and kidneys. Various fungal diseases and parasitic infections are also not alien to spaniels, dermatomycosis, helminthiasis, toxoplasmosis. Spaniels often develop hepatitis media due to their long and droopy ears. Dogs that often swim in bodies of water are more likely to suffer from it because water can enter the ear canal, leading to inevitable inflammation. These dogs, like people, are prone to quickly gain unnecessary pounds and gain weight, so you need to monitor the balance of their diet. It is not uncommon for spaniels to be allergic to various foods, so you need to choose the food very carefully. It is worth remembering that all diseases can be stopped or completely prevented. To do this, you need to be more attentive to your dog. Conduct frequent examinations of its appearance, monitor the proper condition of the coat, exclude tangling and the formation of tangles. The mood of four-legged friends is also important. If the dog is experiencing any anxiety, it may be nervous or depressed, all this should always be observed, showing maximum care and patience. Regular preventive checkups in the veterinary clinic also play an important role in the well-being of the pet. Timely implementation of all necessary vaccinations, vaccinations, duraming and treatment against parasites lead to the fact that the fluffy pet will delight for many years, bringing a lot of the most beautiful and unforgettable emotions. Russian hunting spaniel. Price and how to buy correctly. The correct and thorough choice of a puppy is the key to its successful life. It is better to give your preference to trusted and well-known clubs in order to have all the necessary accompanying documentation and guarantees. In specialized kennels, you can communicate with several puppies at once, choosing the one that suits you. Observation of behavior is very important in such moments, and the attitude of puppies to food speaks about their health. A healthy and active Russian spaniel puppy eats its portion at lightning speed, cheerfully rattling an empty cup. Interesting fact, activity, energy, constant running around, puppies craving for everything new and incredible curiosity testify to their excellent health. Phlegm and lethargy, on the contrary, speak of ill health. In specialized kennels, you can always find out the pedigree of dogs, see information about the puppy's parents. This is especially important for those who are going to hunt. It is recommended to opt for a puppy with a hump nose, when he grows up, the muzzle will have the correct elongated shape. If the hump is not immediately observed, then the dog usually grows short-faced, which is considered a marriage of the breed. Noticing among the puppies of the same litter of several leading ones, they can be safely taken for education by the hunters, they will have all the skills necessary for this business. If we talk about the cost of Russian spaniels, then on the internet it varies from 150 to 300 US dollars. Usually, this is the price of puppies that have a veterinary passport, all the necessary RKF metrics and certified parents. 
You can buy a pet for 50 US dollars, there are also many such ads, but such a small amount most likely means that a dog will be sold to you without accompanying documentation, with the presence of external defects, and, quite possibly, a cross. In the end, it remains to add that the Russian hunting spaniel became famous, not only for its dexterity and agility in hunting, unbridled courage and enthusiasm in the detection of game, but also for its excellent friendly disposition, perky and always playful character, its sociability, and, undoubtedly, pretty appearance, loved by many dog breeders.